All right, here we go. Getting on the car ferry. I've never done this before. Scott has. Long time ago in Washington State. We Washington were State, yeah. Yeah. I have never done this before. That here I remember. Yeah. Let's see. How about we're gonna go to the next lane? Scott. Okay. There we go. Oh, we'll be one of the first ones <laughs> off. Cool. And here we are. Ooh, look at that, right next to a vending machine. Hey, convenient. Okay, cool. This is our trip on the ferry. That is it. Here we go. Oof. That's easy. This is our apartment. Zephyr apartment in Doolin. We are here one night. Yes, we're already kicking ourselves. <laughs> Wait till you see this place. When you come in, it is amazing. It's a one bedroom apartment that we rented through bookings. Look at the view. <laughs> There's the ocean. There's Scott taking photos. But look at this amazing place. Little table, a living area. And a nice couch, a little kitchen. That really has everything we need. So what kind of coffee maker? Well, we'll figure that baby out, I'm sure. And they left us some sweets, which is so nice. Another washer which was one of the reasons I got this, but more for the location. We want to go into Doolin tonight and there's lots of music and bars, pubs there. So we wanted something close. We can actually walk down, take a cab back. Look at this bedroom. First off, the view. Second, it has a king size bed. And that is pretty much unheard of in Ireland. Actually, it's a Europe thing too. A nice, seat over there and then an awesome bathroom notice a lot of the showers have the rain shower head but Scott says we need to go outside too so let's go outside Oh yeah, cute little outside area. So peaceful. Yep, this is awesome. This is coming into Doolin. Very cool little village. We have seen this on video time and time again.
need to find something else in a minute. We need to find Cliffs of Moore, which is actually about a 10 minute drive from our apartment in Doolin. It is incredible and breathtaking. We spent time just hiking around the trails and just really sitting and enjoying the view. We had a little bit of haze, but it was actually a gorgeous day just to sit and take in all the sites. enjoyed our time in Doolin and the Cliffs of Moor. We had an amazing time there. We had seen it on videos so many times. I think we both had it in our head what it was going to be like. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, being there in person is, I mean, there's no substitute. You have to see, there, you have to see it. it. It was amazing. Yeah, it really was. And we want to end this video on yet another act of kindness that we experienced while we were in Doolin. And, you know, we've been saying for some time now how amazing the Irish people really are. And uh, we had a prime example of their kindness, their hospitality, their caring when we were in Doolin. So as you saw in our, um, in our video, we were at an apartment and we wanted to go see the music at O'Connell's Pub. We decided to take a taxi over to O'Connor's Pub, which was a pretty good hike down a hill uh, a couple miles from the apartment. And our Airbnb host left, left us three taxi phone numbers. I think they're the only taxis mm -hmm. in Doolin. So we got a hold of one who took us to O'Connell's. He he was amazing. He um, gave us a tour of Doolin before he dropped us off at the pub, gave us the history, and he was awesome. I have to say I was a little nervous that there was just three taxis and worried about getting back. So I'll let Scott continue. About 10.30, he went to go call <clears throat> the taxi driver to come get us. I tried to call out on my phone. Uh, the taxi driver and the bartender both had told me, step outside and go up maybe 20, 30 yards, and I'll get cell reception. Um, didn't work. I went back inside and told the bartenders, and they, uh, I was amazed at this. They actually, uh, amongst the three or four of them, they all tried um, dialing out on their mm -hmm. cell phones, and they came back and told me that they didn't have any credits. They weren't able to, to call a taxi for me. And as they're explaining this to me, this gentleman standing next to me, who's just standing there having a pint with his buddy, <clears throat> he overheard me and, and looked over and said, uh, where are you going? And I just said, up, up the road, just literally up, up the, the end of the road. He said, well, I'll give you a ride. 
just it's out of nowhere and and so uh yeah. so, so scott, i'm thinking <laughs> scott comes to our table oh i was just sitting waiting scott comes to our table and said hey can't get a hold of the taxi guy but this guy at the bar is going to give us a ride like this total stranger. random random stranger <laughs> i'm thinking as i go over to tell mary i'm thinking this is going to go for yeah <laughs> Yeah, but, and I'm thinking immediately to myself, oh my God, if my mother knew, yeah. she would freak out yeah. <laughs> that we are taking a ride from a complete stranger at a bar, um, you know, and he had been drinking, and, yeah. and I said to Scott, is he okay? And Scott's like, yeah, he was great. He, he's fine. He was he's great. Fine. He, he, he excused himself from his conversation with his buddy and left a half pint sitting on the bar and, and went out and he said, meet us outside, meet me outside, I'm going to go out and get my car. And yeah. so Mary and I went out front. And we're waiting, and we're thinking, what, what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> and up he comes in this Beamer X5. <laughs> okay. It, and he was awesome. Car. He, he was, was just an nice. incredible guy, so we jump in. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen him getting in the car. But, you know, we get in uh, Ubers all the time. We don't know the people. Um, so we get in, and he was just the nicest man. He lives in Dublin. And he has a weekend home in Doolin. And he's tr trying to figure out how he can retire and be in Doolin all the time. He um, works for the railroad. Just the nicest man. Yeah. He took us to our apartment, made sure he stayed until we got in. I tried to pay him the cab money that I had in my hand. Yeah. I had 15 euros ready to go and he wasn't going to have it. No, no. It was great. And that, to us, is the Irish community. Mm -hmm. it, that's the Irish people, their culture. They're just so nice, caring. That's what <clears> we <throat> talk about, these acts of kindness. It wasn't hard for us to find it in Ireland. Yeah, so. that action really, to me, exemplified the, the hospitality and kindness of, yeah. of the Irish folks. And it was like that the whole time. I mean, their, yeah. hu their humor and sarcasm and kindness, and they're just they're so warm. Yeah. We'll talk about that more um, in future videos, but we're going to wrap this one up for now. Um, we have our next video is going to be the last video of our Ireland trip and it'll be Ashford Castle, Galway and our act of service. We try to do one big thing um, on each trip and that's going to be in our closing video coming up soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you can see more adventures as we adventure kindly. Bye. Bye for now.